Booba is like looking us right in the eyes. And we're like, sick. Yeah, he cares. I'm here with Max and Mike from the Arkells at a laundromat. Can you guys tell us what's happening here today? Well, we made our record a couple blocks from here on Ossington, and then we filmed a music video here. And we said, let's go back to the source. The album's called Laundry Pile, so it only, only makes sense. It's such a sick project. I love the direction you guys are headed in. What were you listening to around the time of making this album? Lord, Lord Huron was a, mm -hmm. a reference. And I think just getting in a room together and just kind of working with no goal in mind, but come together real fast this time. The minute anything started to get like built up into some big grand thing, Tony started freaking out. Like, it's too much, pull it back, <laughs> take it out, take it out, take it out. Love it. And uh, The reducer. Yeah, the reducer. Yeah, so that was that was the trick, I think. There's like this level of intimacy to it mm -hmm. that I really love. Is there a song you're really excited for people to hear? There's a weird one called Tango Waltz, which mm. is our weirdest song to date by far. Some laundry questions, of course. Oh. Are you guys washing in hot water or cold water? I'm a cold water guy. He's an expert, so cold water, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Are you guys avoiding peak hours or are you just like washing whenever? Oh yeah, we care about the environment. Tour, tour you know, you gotta, yeah. you gotta head out the door, you gotta pay the cost, yeah. but yeah, we, we keep it off when we can. How do you guys do laundry on tour? What does that even look like? Yeah, how do we do laundry on tour? <laughs> yeah, we just get new clothes. So Eric, it's not you guys. Eric's our tour manager. Yeah. Eric, where the f is our laundry? I would not want to be Eric. Mm -hmm. I don't think Eric wants to be Eric. <laughs> <laughs> if we're being honest with ourselves, when you guys are home, how often are you guys doing laundry? You know, once a week. I'm pretty regular. I would nice. say, yeah, I try and keep the sheets going through. You know, love you got to keep it fresh. One thing that I love about you guys mm. is that relationship with your fans. Can you tell me what's so important about that relationship between Arkells and the fans? Well, we remember what it's like to be a fan because we're still fans. When you feel like a artist or a band is kind of looking you right in the eye and acknowledging you, you, you know, you feel it. But yeah, we went to Michael Bublé's show in Calgary like last year and Bublé was like looking us right in the eyes. And we're like, sick. Yeah, he cares. Absolutely. <laughs> so that's the ethos. The American and Canadian dates coming up. What can you tell us about the set list? What can fans expect? Well, okay, well, we came up upon this new idea. We're gonna like have an audience member mm. come onto the stage, pick a, a shirt from the laundry basket, and that's the song we'll play. Skin, done. I feel like you guys just innovated the entire set list game. <laughs> and it's a way better way than coming home with a set list, you come home with a t-shirt. Yeah, there you, there you, no, we'll need that back. Yeah. Fair, <laughs> fair. <laughs> that goes to Eric's bunk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eric needs to deal with this shit. Anything else people should know about this album? Put it on in the morning, put it on at night. Set the vibe, yeah. Thanks so much, appreciate it and crush it today. Thank you. Thank Sweet. You. All right. right on. Thanks so much, appreciate yeah. it. Really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm gonna give you a hug. Yeah. Thanks so much, it's awesome. Sick. If you'd like to get behind Tony,